level, right? Leading others can be nerve wracking. Like, I mean, you might walk in a room and you might see a person across the room and they got on this nice suit and you're scared, or you might see this woman and she's beautiful and you're like, I don't know what's going on. So, in business, in relationships, whatever, how do you meet others? How do you connect with them? And how do you stay grounded, right? Like, what are the people skills that you kind of need to develop, or what things do you guys do? Can you just say, hey, I'm Glenn Williams, this is what I do. Um, what are some of those things for you guys? What are those skills? I think you have to be confident. Definitely have to be confident. Um, and for me, at one point in my life, I was intimidated by people who were in high positions. I think that at one point in my life. Then I realized, you know, just because someone is in a higher position doesn't mean that they're better than me. Um, my personal views, I feel as though that I'm better than no one and nobody's better than me. So there's no reason for me to put someone on a different pedestal than I am, even if they have more income than me. So if I'm coming into a room where there's beautiful people that I don't know, I'm confident because I know who I am. I know what I bring to the table. I know that I'm viable, whether my bank account says it or not. Whatever the case may be, I don't revive myself off of one of the um, I would say for, for me, it, just remember that we are we are human. Like, we're people first, so you know, don't be afraid to just be your genuine self. Like, I can easily walk in a room and have a 30 minute conversation about Game of Thrones with somebody, and that leads to a bigger discussion than us actually connecting. The same as I can walk in a room and say, I'm the founder of Creators Coalition, we can build shit. Like, you know, both of those, depending on the space in the room that you're in, they can act, just being mindful of where you're at, and, and again, there's a time and a place for everything, but I would also always just say, be yourself. You will attract those that are like-minded if you are genuinely yourself. People in the room that I have studied their work for years and years since I was in high school. And just by, the crazy thing is, it's just like, the person that I met, their husband, grandparents were from Alabama. So how I found out about that is because I just asked a simple question like, oh, I told them where I was from. And then they end up inviting me going out. And then I end up meeting more people. And then those same people end up being on my platform. And it's just all about me being, not even just being from Alabama, but me just asking questions. So. Your name, and if you feel so inclined or you catch the vibe, introduce, your, introduce what you're doing, and they'll introduce them, themselves and what they're doing, and then just kind of flow with the conversation. Have a conversation. You do it every day. You have that conversation in your head. I don't know about y'all, I know we were told you were crazy if you taught yourself. I've talked to myself every day since I was born. Because <laughs> there are thoughts constantly going across my head. So if you're talking to yourself, just open your mouth and talk to the people around you. Greatness is not happening.